Hello everybody, my name's Adam and in this video we're going to take a look at using GeoGebra for regression. That is, we're going to use GeoGebra to very quickly create a scatter plot and then find the line of best fit or another curve of best fit. Now there are a lot of software options available out there for doing this sort of thing, for example Microsoft Excel or Fathom, but I'm going to use GeoGebra as I often do for a few reasons. First of all, it is very intuitive, super easy to use GeoGebra to do this sort of thing or anything else in math for that matter. Uh, it's also 100% free and we don't need to install any software on our devices to, to do this kind of thing. We can access all of these features completely online. So let's start by visiting the GeoGebra website we can get there in our browser by visiting geogebra.org. That's G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A dot O-R-G. And that'll take us to the GeoGebra homepage, which looks like this. Now you can see in the left-hand column here in the left side menu, there is an option to download and install GeoGebra apps to your device, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to access the online calculator suite, and we can do so simply by clicking Start Calculator right here. So I'll click that and give it a few seconds to load. And once the calculator suite has loaded, it looks like this. So let's start entering our data and we're going to do that using a table. So on the left hand side here, I'm going to click table and you can see a table appears and I'll begin by entering my X values. Uh, those are the values for the independent uh, variable. So I'll do that by uh, punching the number in on my keyboard and then hitting enter. So I'll do that uh, right now, here we go. Okay, so all of my X values are entered. Now I'll do the same for the Y values. So I'll just click in the first row uh, for my Y values here. And once again, I'll uh, type in the number on my keyboard and then hit enter after each value. So I'll enter my corresponding Y values. Those are the values of the dependent variable right now. Here we go. All right, so all of my points or all of my values are now entered, but you notice we don't see anything here. I can fix that very quickly by right-clicking anywhere on the graph here and selecting Zoom to Fit. Now, of course, I can change my view. I can drag that graph to, uh, to, to pan. I can also roll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out, but uh, I like to often just select this Zoom to Fit here. It gives me a kind of a nice view of everything. Okay, so if we want to see the line of best fit, all we need to do is click on the three dots uh, beside our, our Y1 variable here and select regression. Notice we're asked to select the regression model we want to use. It's currently set for linear, but there are several options there. And we can see that we're going to have an equation of the form Y equals AX plus B and the corresponding values for A and B are shown right here with quite a bit of accuracy as you can see. Now if we want to plot that line, all we have to do is click the plot button here and there it is. Now I'll also draw your attention to some other cool features here. If once again I click those three dots beside Y1 there. If I go to the X Y1 statistics option here, I can see a bunch of important values. For example, we can see uh, the mean and the standard deviation for, for X and for, for Y as well. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see our correlation coefficient right here. And uh, yeah, lots, lots of kind of useful options there. Now let's uh, select a different regression model and see what that looks like. Once again, I'll click those three dots select regression and this time uh, let's take a look at a quadratic model. So we can see we have an equation of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c and our values for a, b and c are shown here. We can plot that. So now you see we have our our line and our parabola in the same view. If you want to get rid of that original line you can just left click on it and then hit delete and it is gone. I'll just draw your attention to one more thing here. In the list of regression models, notice that we have um, exponential and growth. Those are both exponential um, equations. If we select exponential, just note that the base in our equation will be E, which is Euler's number, approximately 2.718. Whereas if we want a different base, we can select growth. Now we'll get an equation of the form Y equals A times B to the X, and our A and B values are shown here. Okay, so we can plot that if we want, and there it is. And that's it. So as you can see, extremely easy uh, to do this sort of thing with GeoGebra. I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Enjoy.